to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, is indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Well, good morning, everybody. Thanks for coming out. We have enough chairs because we think we're going to have a big crowd. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do an a overview of this year's budget. Uh, what I'll do is I'll run through the budget. Uh, there's handouts there on the, on the table there. Once I'm finished, I'll work for any questions anybody has. It probably won't be a real long meeting. I know there's some other meetings and other things going on today, so I won't tie you up very long. There is coffee and um, pastries and such in the back. Feel free to take advantage of that. I'm using my new clicker, and it's uh, something I've got to get used to hitting the right buttons. Bear with me. All right, the goal today, we're going to run through. I'll move for you. There you go. Uh, basically, I'm going to provide you an overview of what went into building the budget, uh, the process, the key elements, and then some components that I think are important. Uh, information for folks to have. Uh, also, I, I get asked this afterwards. Yes, we'll post this up on the website so anyone can take a look at it later. Uh, one of the things we focus on when we build the budget, we always have to, we, we always start with our mission statement, uh, starting with Ocean Pines will be the premier resort community offering exceptional value, quality of life to property owners who are diverse in age, economic, economic status, and interest. That's really sort of the base building block or, or vision that we look at when we're trying to make our decision of what type of components, what type of elements we're building into the budget each year. <coughs> I'm going to go through the process with you, the steps we took building it. It's the same uh, that we've used the last four years, but uh, again, I think it's important to point it out each year as we go through it. Uh, the process... Stand right behind you guys. Uh, the process of September, September we started staff meeting. Uh, one of the things I always ask the staff right out of the gate is, is when they're thinking about their budget uh, and we start with our September meetings, think about what your absolute needs to be operational are. And what uh, the next level would be any wants, things that you'd have, just kind of the niceties. And then if, we, if money was no object, what would be a desire to take your department to the next element? Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean we're going to grant those, but it just kind of keeps them thinking outside of the normal, I only need five boxes of pencils and some ink and some pens and this type of thing. We always need to be looking outside and, and trying to be a little more uh, intuitive at other things we could offer to make a better place. Uh, we also started several years ago our capital projects worksheets, and that's the process we use to evaluate any capital item request. October, we begin uh, receiving... The departments start to send back the budget information. Uh, we, we actually upload it. We use the cloud now, which uh, has been a lot better the last couple of years. Uh, so the department heads get their budget. They start manipulating what they believe they need. They then upload it, and then ARC starts to, to pull it all together. They also send over their capital projects worksheets, which we start to review at that time. November, uh, we sit down, we being our guys, sit down with each department head ind independently, and we actually go through their budget. Uh, we compare it to last year, we look at what this year's budget is, we look at what they're, what they're requesting, why they're requesting it, if there's any deviations, if there's any modifications we need to make or improvements we could add. In December, uh, we begin pulling all the elements together. Uh, so we start with the individual departments, and we really do keep it separate until we get into that December area. At that point, what we do is we start to pull it together to see how it's going to impact overall as it feeds up into the master budget. Um, also this year, early December, we received budget guidance from the board. And then with the elements we had plus the guidance from the board, uh, we made any necessary changes or modifications we felt uh, needed to be accomplished to meet uh, uh, the board's request plus what we already had to prepare to uh, turn in for review. January, uh, we ended up, we pull it all together. The, the books are four-inch binders, uh, and what we do is we compile enough for the Budget and Finance Committee and enough for the board members. From there, that information starts to get reviewed. We then start, we being myself and Art, and then each department head sits down with the Budget Finance Committee 
and we actually go through a series of days where we're going through the budget line by line, item by item with the Budget Finance Committee. What that allows us to do is A, see if we missed anything, B, be better prepared to answer questions because they'll ask probing questions. Uh, C, they also help us if we either missed it or if they question why we've added or deleted or changed. It's a good way for us to get some very, very good feedback. Uh, I will say that this process this year with the Budget and Finance Committee was the best of the years that I've been doing that. Uh, from a great interaction, uh, the the input and feedback was very, very cordial, and I and I don't take that lightly because it, in, in years past it's been a little more tense. It wasn't this year. Uh, we had our disagreements on things, but they were they were handled very professionally, and, and I appreciated this was. Uh, last year was very good. This year was excellent in the feedback because it really made us think about some things we had in the budget and we were able to kick some things back and forth. So I appreciate Pat Supic and the rest of the team with the interaction we had this year. Uh, from there, uh, there was a week where uh, the Budget and Finance Committee actually comes up with their recommendations based on what they their review process. Uh, that gets turned over to the Board of Directors in a, uh, it was a two-page document this year with their findings, recommendations, uh, how they felt about the budget. I was very, very pleased there was very minor differences or any uh, major modifications this year, uh, which, which I was pleased with uh, because we, we were, uh, it just shows how synced up we were with them and, and, and clarity in our budget. From there, the next week began where we started sitting down the same type of review process with the Board of Directors. Uh, and we go uh, each of the departments, and we, we go through each of the line items and do the Q&A. Uh, and that's, that gets us through the end of January. February 4th, uh, the, the, the one department uh, area that had some additional questions, uh, the board met with the fire department. I had a very, very good meeting. They explained where their differences are, where their changes were in that meeting. Uh, the, the basic takeaway from there, uh, and again, not speaking for the board, but the general feeling was it made sense what, where they were and what was going on. Uh, so that wrapped up. We then met again on the 7th, we being myself and the board, uh, and Mark, and we went through the budget again and kind of went through any other changes, identified any concerns. And then from there, uh, this Wednesday, the board actually published guidance to us of, of additional changes, additional modifications they'd like to see in the budget, and which brings us to where we are today, where we're presenting it to the membership. Uh, from there, the board will, once the membership, you have had the opportunity to see it, review it, uh, the board will then take any feedback that they get over the next week or two and make the final uh, approval of the budget. Uh, I talked with Mr. Stevens yesterday. We were going to try to do it in the September, or I'm sorry, in the end of February regular board meeting. It, he said it would appear that we'll probably wait until the first or second of March uh, to do a special meeting to approve the budget this year. Some initiatives and opportunities, new initiatives, and opportunities in the budget this year were somewhat limited. We did include something uh, that was swimmer racket cup food sales. Uh, what we want to do is go back and change the. Uh, if you remember years ago, we had food sales uh, at Swim and Racket Club, and when you come in on the left side, uh, and for years we, we had uh, light snacks and stuff, so uh, the pizzas are in the spinning thing and the hot dogs and roll, that type of thing, because we have no restaurants associated with it. It's remote from not being near any, any food and beverage area, so what we're going to do is try that as a new initiative to promote people staying at the pool there long. Uh, there were no major capital uh, no new major capital expenditures uh, promoted for this year. And, but. Board guidance. This was what came out of uh, what we received on the 18th to, to make the modifications or change. Uh, wanted overall uh, payroll uh, expenses reduced by 150000 uh, Increased golf losses by 35876 and this was, uh, these are changes to, or modifications to what was proposed in the budget. These, this was the last bit of guidance. Uh, increased marine income by 10,000. Uh, added 50,000 for a reserve study. Added 45,000 for Maine Clemente's project. 
And, and that project's a multi-phase project. We've been talking about uh, pick a ball course platform, uh, move the playground. Uh, add forty thousand dollars for an electric sign. Add twenty thousand dollars for the yacht club fans, uh, fire pit, and TV. And add twenty thousand dollars for pool covers. Uh, the thing uh, with the pool covers is they're approximately ten thousand each. Anytime we we remod remodel or replace a pool, uh, we've decided two years ago. Anytime we did that, we would put a cover on it, uh, much like the pool cover the yacht club has. Uh, it reduces it overall cost for maintenance, can leave it filled. Uh, the cleanup when you first open the season is much easier. There's a lot of positive reasons to do it. So anytime we, we uh, make changes to the pool, we're going to pull the cup. Some key elements in the budget this year. <coughs> Five-year funding plan, a lot of discussion on that one. Uh, lot of, there's some changes or modifications there, uh, and I uh, wanted to make sure we clarify there's going to be a name change with five-year funding plan moving forward. Okay, the final name at this point, and again, remember, the board still is going to take a look over the next couple of weeks, but right now, <coughs> we name it to the legacy plan, from the five-year funding plan to the legacy plan. Uh, additionally, that $130 that was previously collected as a five-year plan will be used this year and next to pay off the paper deficit shown for that fund and fund a portion of new capital items this year. Historical reserves. Deficits in the other reserve funds will be reduced to zero by using funds from the historical reserves. Basically, we have three categories where there have been deficits accumulated. Um, golf drainage being the, the golf drainage project being the highest. Well, that money was used originally when they did the project out of the historical research, and it's been tracked independently. Uh, it was decided this year to take that along with uh, two other reserve accounts and, and zero those out using historical research. So it's funds that we had pulled out of there anyway, and we're just applying it to zero amount. Reserves uh, in the future, historical reserves and five-year plan subsets of the capital assets placement reserves specified by FO3 will be dissolved. What that's saying is right now when we track our reserves, uh, we actually have under the reserve page a five-year column, historical column. Uh, it was decided by the board this year to combine those columns into one reserve account. Future projects, uh, moving forward as future projects come up, uh, it, the funding solution for those projects will be determined on a case-by-case case, uh, moving forward. When I say case-by-case, case, we can look at funding from historical reserves, we could look at borrowing money, we could, uh, there are a number of different ways to look at future projects. Uh, this is the, the, the board's desire to move forward using this once they do the CIP and the reserve site to figure out what the, the next projects may or may not be for the association. Summary, uh, and this is in, in the handout, but the, I thought I showed to you up on the screen. Uh, if you look at general operations, the 14-15 budget versus 15-16 general operations, administration, all departments, there was a $1 increase uh, in the budget, bless you, 139 to 140. Uh, CPI was a push. There was no increase. General maintenance, a $2 increase. Public works, there was an actual $1 decrease. Um, fire EMS, uh, there was a $24 increase year over year. Police was $6. Rec and Parks was $3. So the total of $35. <coughs> That's for the operations. And again, you, you have the packet. This is what's printed in the budget every year. Just Wanted to make sure I covered it with you in summary format. Amenity operations, this is how the budget shook out. Racket sports, um, when you look at the racket sports, there was a $4 difference. Aquatics, a $1 difference. Uh, golf operations, a $3 difference, and that's with the change, with the modification. Uh, beach club, $1. Beach club parking, $6. And this is year over year. Yacht club, Seven, Marina's five. 
So the bottom line there, that subtotal is a positive variance of the budget of $5. Negative is good there. Okay, reserves. Replacement uh, reserves, there's $12 decrease. Legacy reserves, and again, five year, now legacy, $21. Uh, bulkheads, uh, it was the same. Roads, there's zero, but understand we it's not because we're not funding roads. We use the casino money to fund roads. We get some money from the county, plus we get uh, casino monies. Uh, drainage, uh, there's none uh, budgets there where it was a, a positive three or, or loss of three, but that's positive for operating deficit fund recovery is a push, $36. So the bottom line, and if you look at the minimum new capital items, uh, $12 increase. Uh, everything combined from the previous slide takes this year's proposed assessment uh, over last year from 909 to 915. That's what the current proposed uh, budget number is for this year's assessment. All these numbers are right in the documentation that, that we handed out for you. Board meeting will, uh, the board will vote on the budget. Like I said, it's probably not going to be next Saturday. It could be, uh, but we, we don't think it's going to be at this point with some minor uh, things that still need to be considered. So it looks like it's going to be uh, early March. Uh, certainly uh, we'll post the meeting when they get to conference. Questions? <laughs> uh, I'll, 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 let's do questions on the budget first, and, and we're all here. I'll answer anything you need to answer. So. Questions on the budget? No? All right. Mr. Reynolds? Back in the beginning, yes, sir. there was a slide that indicated something in reference to the Yacht Club and the amount to pay off that said it was a paper number. Does that mean that the Yacht Club is actually paid? But on paper it's not. What does it mean? <laughs> uh, I use the term board provide to me in their guidance. So here's what I'll tell you. We paid for it, but our <laughs> our the intent was using the five-year funding plan to pay for the club in its entirety. So basically, you pull the money out of your reserve account, then you replace it with five-year funding. Draft. That's what the plan was. So we pulled it out of the reserves. And so really, we had it. We paid for it. Now we're putting it back in with that five-year, or now what's going to be called the legacy fund. So the paper part would be essentially more or less a loan to ourselves. Um, it would be a loan if we had repayment. Uh, set up, but yes, that type of yeah, money. that would be a fair statement. Yes, sir. Any other question? Thank you all for being here. Oh, I have, I have a question. question. No, uh, uh, fine, go ahead. I, you tracked out this morning, so I'm happy to try. Just, um, basically, only uh, okay. Now, I just learned that the golf course is going to be taken over by uh, Landscape Unlimited. Okay. I have a substantial amount of gift cards. They're going to honor them, or am I going shop? I can't give you a definitive answer on that. Really? The decision was made yesterday, and, and you know, because from I'm, here. I'm talking a substantial amount on gift cards. Now, I was under the impression that the gift cards are Ocean Pine Golf. Not Casper, not... Here's what I'll tell you. I can't give you a definitive, but I'm absolutely certain the board's going to require the new company. I would <coughs> request that the board will require them to well, honor the, the gift card. Here, so you're welcome to ask. Um, what we did yesterday, decide, select, a company among three that did for a new uh, Next day, find I can tell you, I think, that whatever promises that we made prior, they were going to have to hunt. They'll have to hunt. And, you know, and there are things like lifetime memberships, which involve a whole lot. 
don't want to have to come back find out the day before they're, that they're going to expire. That would, and like I said, there's a substantial amount. They don't expire so. right now, I'm not. No, they do not. Okay. They're not, they're still not expired. Thank you very much. And any other questions for me? Thank you all very much for coming out. Thank <laughs> you. No, sir. <laughs>